in your night, ja. Uh, they want to ja. Brothers, we start come and ja. Come on, opinion your night, ja. Welcome to Opinion Ninja TV, where we bring you the news highlights of the current event happening around. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel, Opinion Ninja TV. If you're already a subscriber, we appreciate you. On the story right here, we have the Nigerian judiciary at it again with its tendency for cash and carry judgment. Imagine a judge ruling that INEC has the power to contradict itself as the power to say one thing before election and does another thing during election, ruling that INEC has the power to shift the goalpost in the middle of a game just to favor one candidate. That is the latest we are hearing right now from a federal high court in Abuja that has ruled that only the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is empowered by law to determine the mode of collating and transmitting election results. Justice Emeka Nwite also heard that only INEC had the prerogative to direct how a polling unit presiding officer should transfer election results, including the total number of accredited voters and results of the ballot. Justice Nwite further heard that collating and transferring election results manually in the 2023 general election could not be said to be contrary to the relevant provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. The judgment was on a suit marked FAC slash ABG slash CS slash 1454 slash 2022 filed by the Labour Party with INEC as the sole defender. The Labour Party had prayed the court to declare that INEC has no power to opt for a manual method other than the electronic method provided for by the relevant provisions of the Electoral Act, which INEC by itself stipulated in its guidelines prior to the 2023 general election. Here is a court saying now that INEC has the right to deviate from its own guidelines regulating the election. The Labour Party had also urged the court to issue an order compelling INEC to comply with the Electoral Act 2022 on the electronic transmission of results in the election. In the judgment it delivered, Mwite heard that the plaintiff misconstrued the provisions of the law and proceeded to dismiss the suit. In his judgment, the judge said, and I quote, From the arguments of the learned plaintiff's counsel, I am of the humble opinion that the bone of contention or the sections that seek for interpretations are actually sections 50, subsection 2, section 60, subsection 5, and section 62, subsection 2 of the Electoral Act 2022. Section 47, subsection 2, as cited by the Learned Council to the plaintiff, only deals with accreditation of voters using a smart card reader but not collation or transmission of results as postulated by the Learned Council. The judge also saying that section, section 60, subsection 5 of the Electoral Act 2022 provides for the transfer of election results, including the total number of the accredited voters from the polling unit. He noted that section 62, subsection 2 of the same act provides for compilation maintenance and continuous update of the register of election results as distinct database for all polling units results as collected in all elections conducted by the Commission. The said session 62 subsection 2 has mandated that such register of election results shall be kept in an electronic format by the Commission. In essence, where this judge is driving at is yet to be understood, as it is against common sense and logical reasoning that INEC chairman will give a guideline to regulate an election. Then, during an election, you will deviate and be doing another thing. It is against the law of logical reasoning and common sense, because even the Nigerian constitution frowns against a political party setting a guideline for its operation, then deviating in the middle of the exercise, maybe just to favor a particular candidate, not to talk of an INEC that has a constitutional backing 
that is regulated by the law. You cannot set a guideline to conduct an election. Then, in the middle of the election, you are deviating and doing another thing. That's tantamount to shifting a goalpost in the middle of a game just because you want to favor a particular candidate. I hope a higher court see the monumental error in this warped judgment and do the needful. Moving on to another story, we have here the Nigerian street musician Abib Okikiola, popularly known as Portable, who has again been attacked by unknown individuals. Portable, who is fond of saying people, we collect, you go collect, you go collect, seems he is the one who collects the most. This time, he said that he was attacked by his old friends, people who he had helped in the past countless number of times. Portable was seen in a video, but unlike his usual style of ranting and threatening fire and brimstone, Portable was seen talking in a very cool manner, while stating that he has called his lawyers to approach the court on his behalf to deal with his attackers seriously. As you can see, this life, as you they make them, make it they run, make it they run for people. The more you grow, run for people. You they hear, they don't want your success. You see, they don't shoot me up. You know, yeah, now my nigga shook me. I don't know what he shook me. We don't got that day, that time, back in the days. But don't say I make him, I see the help him. Yeah, I'll find you alone. I'll be my mother, so I'll ask you to have a show come up for me. Let her come knock me, I don't know, because I'll say they beat my sister. You they beat my sister. You don't know, say they don't beat me. Eh? See, see my aunt, superstar aunt. The guy will knock me here about Kada for him. I never collect her. I sit there and I don't collect she. The guy will knock me here. See? It's one. My brother said, Don't be me that they fight. They fight my sister. Don't kill my sister. That was portable, giving his account of what transpired between him and his attackers. This is where we'll be calling it a wrap for now until we see you again next time. You can subscribe to our channel, Opinion Ninja TV for our subsequent videos. Bye for now.